Question. P.S. John went to a grocery store and bought apples and oranges. In total, they cost $120, and he bought 30 apples. One orange costs $6, and he bought 5 oranges in total. Then, what is the price of one apple? Solution. P.S. Separated 2 by 2. This type of question frequently appears in the exam, so you should understand this completely. We have to find the price of one apple. We fill up the information in the table as the following. Number of apples equal to A, which equals to 30. Price of each apple equal to C dollars. Number of oranges equal to B, which equals to 5. Price of each orange equal to D, which equals to 6 dollars. Now, total price equal to A times C dollars plus B times D, which equals to 120 dollars. Substituting in the values we know, we get $30 times C plus 5 times $6 equal to $120, which simplifies to 30 times C plus 30 equal to 120, which rearranges to get 30 times C equal to 120 minus 30, and 30 times C equal to 90, or C equal to 3. So the price of one apple is $3, and C is the correct answer. You should remember how to use separated 2 by 2. It will prove to be extremely helpful when you're writing the actual test. As I explained, complementary 2 by 2 and separated 2 by 2 questions often appear in the exam. Understanding these concepts brings you that much closer to achieving a high score on the GMAT. C is the correct answer. Answer C.